episode of the Reverend Wilder Show, we're at the Royal Ontario Museum to learn about bugs and bones. There's a lot to see here. Come. We'll learn about biodiversity before going behind the scenes. Hello, hi, how are you guys? To check out their amazing bug collection, there's giant spiders, scorpions that sting, centipedes that bite, and beetles that eat, um... Some of them eat poop. Then we'll go back in time to see the dinosaurs. A lot of dinosaurs. Stay tuned as we go to the Bone Library and get hands-on with 80 million year old fossils. Come on, let's go! We're gonna go outside, we're gonna have a blast. Better keep up with us, our only speed is fast. So join us and learn stuff that you'll want to know. That's what it's all about on the River and Wilder Show. Hey everyone, it's me, Wilder. To watch all of our shows, Click the icon in the corner to subscribe. We're heading to that building that looks like a crystal. It's the Royal Ontario Museum. That's the museum! Bugs and butterflies the best. Now let's try the cockroaches. Can we touch the cockroaches? Okay, it's time to touch some creepy crawlers. Wow, we get to go behind the scenes. Like tarantula. We're heading to the entomology department to meet Brad, a guy who knows a lot about bugs. Hello, hi, how are you guys? Nice to meet you. Ah, that was a good one. This is our collection room. And in these cabinets, we have all kinds of things. I pulled a bunch of them out of here, but I'll bring them down. We have over six million insects in our collection. And I'm gonna pull out some really cool looking things. So, you don't have to worry about any of these things biting you, because they're all dead. And they tend to live in, either in deserts or in tropical forests. You won't find anything this big here. But how many legs do spiders have? Eight. Insects have how many? Six. And what do insects have that spiders have? Antennas. Right. And what else do insects have that spiders don't have? Helps them fly. Wings. Wings, right. And the other main thing too is that when you look at a spider, it's got two main body parts. It's got like the head here and then the, the body here. That's like where its tummy is and everything like this. Insects have three different parts. 
major parts of their body. You can see if it bit you, that would be like a bee sting. It would hurt like that. You can see it could go about halfway through my finger trying to bite me. There you go. Now you get an idea of how big it is compared to your hand. <laughs> wow, are you in there too? It's bigger than his hand. These are scorpions. I love scorpions. I love scorpions. Tell me where do you think the mouth is and where the stinger is? The mouth is probably like booty thing. And where's the stinger? And yep. most scorpion stings are less than a bee sting. That's right. What do you think? How would you like to be, let's say, a small grasshopper and you see one of these things coming at you in the desert no. or in the forest? No. These we collected in Vietnam. So this is a centipede. Oh. You wanna hold it? Yeah. So we store some things in alcohol so that they don't go rotten. Centipede. How about the adults? Don't you think they should be holding something? <laughs> I'll hold it. Look at that. Fangs are right there. Nice. That's a lot of beetles. Yep. They come in ginormous sizes, like these. Two little sizes, like that one. Yep. These are called Hercules beetles because they're so big and strong. But you know what they eat? What? Some of them eat poop. Uh, where cattle or deer have been in the forest and they poop, and then what they do is they actually roll it up into a ball, yeah. and then they go push it someplace, they dig a hole, they bury the dung into the hole in the ground, and then the female lays an egg in there. <laughs> Can you imagine waking up, start your life, and you're in a ball of poop? <laughs> I can think of other things I'd want to become. Their front wings are these really hard ones right here. And, that's, and they have these ones folded in underneath. So these are the ones that they actually use to fly with. This is called a harlequin beetle. And, that's, and it's called that because of the different colors on its wings. Want to hold it? Mm -hmm. That one's very cool. Want to hold the baby you wanna, one? This one? You want to hold this cool one? Yeah. Okay. That's, I think there you it's go. a ladybug. Hold, grab it by there. There you go. Yeah, it's like a ladybug. Ladybugs are beetles too. Do you want to hold it? If I had to name this one, I'd call it a zebra beetle. That's that one's a ghost beetle. Yeah. That Can you imagine be... living in parts of the world where you actually have beetles this big? Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Mm -hmm. And most of the time you can find them at night. You go outside and if there's a big street light or something like that, you'll see them flying around. Ooh, you like that one? I want that one. I want that one. That one. Yep, it's that one and that one and that one. A penguin? You think it looks like a penguin? That one. Yeah. Oh. So, this is the same species. These are nasty, nasty ants. These are called bullet ants. If they sting you, it will be so painful, it'll feel like somebody shot you with a gun and you got a bullet going into your arm. These are grasshoppers and katydids. Look, a leaf. A leaf. That's yeah, a, that's a leaf and, and some of them actually yeah. are called leaf insects. They're called eye spots. Yeah, so it um, scares the other predators away. Wow, you know your biology, that's good. And they're, they are super good at jumping. Can I if you look at the size of their back legs, they can jump like dozens of times. A lot of monarchs. Lot These of are monarchs. Yep. There's a lot of them. They, fly, they live up here in the summer, and then in the fall, they all gather around like the North Shore of Lake Ontario, oh, and then they fly all the way down to Mexico. Brad showed us a lot of amazing things, but he had some work to do, and we had some dinosaurs to see. <laughs> Hope you guys have fun today in the galleries and seeing the dinosaurs too. Thank you, goodbye. Very nice to meet you. Hi everyone, it's me, Elsie. We're going to have some lunch. Then we're going to see dinosaurs. My elder, the dinosaurs in the ice. They found that whole mastodon.
Sweet River. We're headed back behind the scenes. The ROMS collection is huge. Paleontologists from all over the world come to study it. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our library of bones. That's Kevin. He's been an assistant curator since 1983. He helps keep all the fossils organized so paleontologists can unravel the mysteries of dino evolution. So here you're in the collection with fossil vertebrates. That means fossils of animals that had bones, like dinosaurs and fish and mammals. Oh, wow. Here we have a whole set of dinosaur heads. Forehead here. And see how it's slanted? And then look at this one. See how that one comes forward? So this is a different kind. And you're right, these four are all the same kind. So these are duckbill dinosaurs. This one happens to be called Lambiosaurus, and these ones are all called Clithosaurus. Many people that are interested in studying our dinosaurs want to study heads, so we put a cast in the gallery and we keep the real head here. So if you're gentle, you can touch this jawbone, see how smooth it is. And then, and then use your finger here and you can feel the, the rough teeth. So this is a plant eater and it'll be grinding plant material like a horse or a cow would do. Who's this? That's a giant bone. You can touch this one. But this is from the last ice age. And so it hasn't been fully mineralized. This is a dinosaur egg. What's left is half the egg. And then this red stuff is the sediment that filled in the dirt, and now it's fossilized. So you can touch, feel what a dinosaur egg feels like. It feels very smooth. Yes. Yeah. So you can see it's not that heavy, it, but it's the weight of a rock because this is rock in it that's inside it. Could I hold it? Yep. After yep. It's not that. It's not that heavy. Yeah, that's right. This is the big long tooth from the saber cat. Run your fingernail along the edge gently here. What do you feel? It's bumpy. not its not smooth, right? Yeah, it's bumpy. That's bumpy. Feel that? Bumpy. So that is like a knife. It's going to do this and then pull back and cut. So yeah, that's... And now we're going to look down here. Drawers, Drawers are all different sizes. Ah. So... Here is the saber cat. So you've just touched the tooth of one of these. You can see the long, goofy long canines. Big fangs. And big fangs. So when he does you a favor, you can say fangs a lot. Wow, that was pretty amazing. I hope you had as much fun as we did. Bye bye! Don't go yet. Click on our logo to subscribe. If you do, you'll get notified every time we launch a new episode. Click on one of our videos to keep watching. Bye-bye!